easy. <laughs> uh, good evening. Uh, we are going to start the budget hearing um, for the Township of Forestville on uh, November 20th, 2023 at 6.32 p.m. Ruth? Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to explain a few things. If you look at the very bottom of the first page, you will see the proposed budget from 2023 was $398,010. And at the very end was the proposed for 2024 at 464,488 with a difference of 66,000. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that the town levy and the uh, Southern Door Fire De Department levy are the most important. That's what goes on our levy. And uh, the rest are um, monies that come in, like say shared revenue, highway aids, and we have to just decide how we're going to spend this money. Uh, since we were like, um, let's see, the difference, the shared revenue you see is 50, is up $50,848 from last year. That's coming from the government. Our fire dues are up about 300. Our election grants, we got $1,300 last year plus $2,524 uh, for the Door County Park grant. Our interest was up by about 11,000 and, uh, because of the fire department escrow account, that's where a lot of the interest came in, some of it anyway, and then the interest rates have been up. And the town hall rent is up by $500. And we're minusing the cemetery account because right now we do have enough money in the cemetery account by $2,500. So that makes up more than the difference of the $66,000. So we're, we're sitting pretty good. And on the next page are just the just the expenses and that one we went through uh, pretty good. And the only one that I might have a little problem would be with uh, general administration, which is the clerk. Um, we have to have uh, election uh, education for all our poll workers. And so that might, I don't know, we'll pay them probably $25 for doing the election uh, education. Uh, other than that, I think, uh, with that might even cover it enough, you know, with what's in that budget. And let's see on the next page, uh, everything, let's see, there's um, the one thing that that's always different is the highway expense. Right now it's 285,973, but anytime we go over our budget in any of of these categories, it's gonna come out of there because that's very flexible. So uh, at the very end, our, our total is 464,488. The extra was just put into the highway expense uh, for any changes that we might want to make. And then you see the balance of the accounts. On the estimated 2023 year balance is 47,185, but that includes the ARPA fund of 40960 But of that, we've already paid about 20500 for the town hall siting. So uh, at the very end, we should have about $27,000 at the very end of our, our year. And um, I, I don't know if you noticed, but under the November, December column, I have 222000 for the highway expense. And we didn't get the billing yet for uh, Old Elm Road. So, uh, and then I, I left some in there for uh, winter operations for the snow plowing. So that's kind of a estimate. And I guess we went through that last, last month. So if there's any questions. Really, um... The levy proposal is down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Reduced the levy proposal because we're now getting additional revenues from the state. Mm -hmm. And see, the town levy is down by about 6000 mm -hmm. That goes on our taxes, but then the fire department is up by twelve. But that right. that's the numbers that the state tells us we have to put on. Right, but those yeah. are but in reality, these are controlled. Right, right. Even though we the can't budget, change them. Right. 
last year our total revenue was probably, you know, 398,000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But see, now this year, our shared revenues are going to be up by 50,000. Yeah. Right. And, and our fire dues are going to be up. Our election grant that we received that was all added in. And then right. So those were all additions yes. that we didn't have to work right. with. Right. That also uh, then has a bearing on then how we expend it. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did I give you the cemetery budget also? Yes, you did. You did? Okay. If you want to review that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that was as of October 10th. I didn't make any other changes. Right. So. so we had expenses. We had done. I think the cemetery cleaning was not included on here, and that was just minimal. $45 or $90, yeah. I guess. But there's enough... You know, if we maintain ten thousand dollars in the checkbook or in, or in the accounts, we still have three thousand dollars, and our expenses yes. right, and our expenses were twenty four hundred this year. So, so. Do you have to train new poll people this year, or do you oh, have the same? same man, I have the I have the same people oh, good. pretty much. Oh, that's good. Uh, and I think I can even do the training here. Right. But is it state mandated? Yes. Training? Yes, they have to. Especially, and the chief inspectors have to have two hours every year. So, mm -hmm. and I usually have some some uh, municipalities have one or two, and I actually have three that are good at it. That I would and like to train. That, you and I had received that email of the work. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. so I got it today. Are they part of working with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And those are my two. They are two poll workers that I've that used use already. Yes, I have to use them. Yes, in this scenario. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was from the Democratic Party. I didn't get any from the Republican Party yet. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Hope everything looks okay. I guess all we need is a motion to accept. I make a motion to accept the uh, budget as uh, presented. Well, it's actually set in love. Yeah. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor? <laughs> sure. Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, then the budget will carry. And that will be the end of the budget hearing. And you can do what you need to do with that as far as talking yes, and so forth and so on. Okay, now we are going to open into the Forceville uh, regular town board meeting uh, again for November 20th, 2023. And the time is 6.40. Uh, we'll do a roll call. Okay, Kevin Gillett. Here. Larry Huber. Here. Jason Klahach. Here. Dina Schmidt. Here. I'm Ruth Kirscher. Here. And we have Lauren Eaker. Here. And Joe Bader. Here. All right. Open with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Uh, verification of public notice. Yes, it's been on the town website and also on the town hall bulletin board. Uh, agenda <laughs> presentation. Everybody good with the agenda? I'll make a motion to accept the agenda as presented. I second that. All right. I have a motion to accept the agenda and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, we carry. Approval of meeting minutes from October 16th meeting. 
Did we, um, we talk about that uh, perpetual care account last month? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, no, we're going to, it's on. It's, it's on here. It's on here, yes. Okay. That was just at one of our, town at the Towns Association meeting, we heard about it. We had it. the convention. Yes, yes. the convention. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, then given that, I'll make a motion that we accept those minutes as presented. I didn't see anything wrong, no errors or omissions. I segment there. All right, I have a motion uh, from Larry to approve the October 16 minutes and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, it will carry. Uh, Treasurer's financial report. In the cemetery checking, we have $77.89. Cemetery Perpetual Care, we have $11,653.59. Cemetery Savings, we have $1,302.02. The Checking, we have $1,103.49. The LGIP, sorry, the, the Money Market, we have $67,841.12. And the LGIP, we have $154,967.26. And the fire department escrow, we have $130,612.95. And the um, ARPA, we have $37,752.87, which I don't think that's right. No, it's yeah. uh, it's 40 or something. Yeah. So it's somehow, I think one figure was taken out twice. Okay. The first year. So I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll get it. I'll get it to you. Okay. We're going to have to report again on that ARPA. Yes. And when By is that April. Due? April. Let's start on that January. <laughs> the first, the first of January. Well, I'll tell you what. Last year was oh, a tough one to report. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no receivables open. Nope. Mm -hmm. Did you make those checks for the sanitary district? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did, did you do it today. Did you yeah. do it today. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't transfer them. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, I can. I make, make a motion next to the treasury report. I'll second that. All right, I have a motion to accept accept the treasurer's report as written, and we will clarify the ARPA fund. You did that correct? Sure. And I have a second. All in favor? All right. All opposed? Hearing none. It'll carry. Uh, public comment. Larry, do we have anybody out there? No. Anybody in the crowd got anything? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on. Correspondence? The only correspondence we had already mentioned was the Democratic Party, uh, that I have to use those two poll workers. And then I received this, that I have no clue what it's about. Well, I just got that. That was the, e the email that I received and attaches an explanation. And there's, um, we can talk about this later because this is a report that wouldn't have to be done because um, not till January 1st of 2025. So. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we even have to do this. So I just thought I'd give it to you. It just came as an email and I just printed everything up, whatever. And this came from the Social Security Administration? No, I don't. No. It came from law this came from, from Conway. Conway. Yeah. I think we don't do amazing. anything with them, do we? Yes, we do. That They're the ones that are working on broadband. Right. That's oh, right. See, and see, since okay. we pay our share. Yeah, they probably want to check out with our books. So I just thought I'd bring this up. We can put this on the agenda for next month too, because I just got this and it. Why would the law firm want to know? Well, they? they're not, but well, what they're doing, they're referencing uh, this anti anti formation transparency act, uh, corporate transparency act. It comes into law. Uh, we would have to basically through. watch to see where the money is coming from, where they're going, so you're not laundering money through the, through the, yeah, through the 
Um, we don't have enough to launder anything. Oh, that's <laughs> dead, and according yeah. to this, for entities created created on or after January first of twenty twenty four, the report will be due within thirty days of the formation. And then for those, prior to that, then it's due January twenty five. Yeah, January first of twenty twenty five. Yeah, and that's. I'm sure we'll hear something from the Towns Association about this, but you know, let's keep our ears open on that one. Yeah, because I, I didn't really understand this, so I got to bring it to the board. I agree. Well, gee, thanks, Ruth. You're welcome. <laughs> um, You're so good at this. Uh, one other correspondence that Ruth had mentioned to me, um, and I think maybe you forgot about Ruth, was the curb allowing the bar up the road to widen that curve to allow the entrance coming in there to the driveway right mm -hmm. if i remember correctly you had said that she talked to the county and the county said it's a town that's issue. just not our problem that's a town that part of the road is a town's so if the town is okay with it they can do whatever personally mm -hmm. myself Right by the bar here on the corner. That the, the, their driveway is very right. narrow. Right. Okay. Where you come in by that so, that board that they, or that fence that yes, they have up, which is where the AC and the yes. area yeah, 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 and everything yeah. is. So what she's, from my understanding, what she's asking, which should not be a cost to us, if she wants right. to do that, that's got to be a hundred percent hers. Just will we allow them to do it? Is how I'm. I'm just widen the entry. Correct. They'd have to get somebody with a saw, you know, cut it like we would if we had to cut a curb for a house, mm -hmm. and then she would be able to widen that opening. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I don't really see an issue with that. I didn't know people park along the side of that curb. Right, because right now it's still a curb, right? But once it's opened up, it's I think way. right people would allow them to. And I think they would use their good judgment as far as how wide you want to go for that exact reason of, well, you do know people park there, right? And she can't go a whole lot further than where the vehicles park anyway, right? right. Because mm -hmm. what good is cutting the curb if you can't pull in anyway? Right. Mm -hmm. So I guess, would you guys be okay with allowing that to oh, take place if, if that's the as case? As long as she cuts it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they got, she got to have somebody cut it decent that it's at a nice mm -hmm. angle. They'll be on the back side, take a German saw and, and mm -hmm. do whatever. Okay. But, so, so I, I have no problem with that. I, I don't need it's, it. It's, it's up to us as a town. But, okay, so she cuts She would have to ask our permission because technically mm -hmm. it's a curve, it's a, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how that all got there, I don't know, but She's it's telling probably you been there for years. Been there on well, he's been there when time. Richard owned it. Yeah, it was that way. Or right. Wardix, even. Way. Yeah. Long before but that. But the problem is, is okay, if she cuts that curb, isn't there going to be like a hump there? Well, there's no, there's no blacktop right there, right? So it's kind of what know, it is, is gravel. gravel. Yeah, yeah. So okay. she'd have to just kind of yeah. cut that gravel to get to her entryway in, okay. right? Mm -hmm. well, It'd probably be safer, to be honest, if it wasn't just in that right pipe, right? Yeah. Did she approach us? Yeah, she had she mentioned had it to me, to and then I told Kevin about it. And I'm like, well, I think we're bringing it up to the board and ask what you guys all felt well, about it. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that can, it, it's not going to really affect us as such, uh -huh. because as a county role, but what you're talking about is that side piece. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just widen the curb just a little bit. She mm -hmm. cut off whatever she needed to cut to make it. It'll be her problem. Right in the it's her problem, and it's her expense. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's how I would put it. I, I'm thinking it's almost like the ballpark thing here, right? Mm -hmm. We want to stain it, but we want to ask permission to stain it so we don't get any problems. And well, that right same same concept. Sure. I understand. So, um, do we need a motion to that effect, Bruce? What do you think? I can just talk to her and tell her it's okay. Yeah. I don't think we should. Yeah, because okay. we're not really doing anything but giving her permission. So I think we're okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. But mm -hmm. somehow or another, we should record the fact that we did that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. In, in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, any other correspondence? Uh, I don't know if this van rolls thing here if that's like a correspondence or do you want to talk about that at Rhodes? Maybe at Rhodes, huh? Yeah, that's partly okay. Rhodes. Ruth, do you have anything else? No, that would be it. Right. 
Hearing none other, then we're going to move on. Uh, Seven Door Fire Department uh, report. All right, I'll keep it nice and short compared to, compared to last month. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, our last meeting was on November 8th and obviously held at the South Forest Fire Station. The treasurer reported, and Ruth, I gave you a cheat sheet there. Mm -hmm. $12,373.35 in checking, $10,652.50 in what we call the small checking, which is the, I guess you could say, um, what we have received so far from the, the split with the town of Massawapi, um, in which I have, I have, I have, I'm having Chuck Shelley, the treasurer, check to see if we have any more incoming bills from the lawyers with for involving with the split from the fire department he's checking on that if he can't find it on the invoices he's going to call actually the law firm itself and see if there's any more any more uh, <clears throat> any more bills coming to us and that way we can have it all all settled out by right probably next meeting or maybe for right. sure. So for the first of the year so it's ended on it's ended on this and this calendar year. year this calendar year so I have Chuck Shai checking in on that. So there's there's ten thousand six hundred fifty two dollars and fifty cents in there. In our money market, there's three hundred and seventy five thousand fifty eight dollars and nineteen cents in the Capital Credit Union CD fifty thousand three hundred ninety five dollars and forty four fourteen cents fourteen cents for a grand total four hundred and forty eight thousand four hundred seventy nine dollars and eighteen cents. The chief, in the chief's report, three fire calls last month. A Mavis call to Algoma Fire Department for a house fire. We provided an engine, a squad, and we passed on the chief, which was requested. October 24th, uh, the Mavis call to, to Buck Fire Department provided an engine, a squad, and a chief canceled en route. And October 26th, 3122 Lake Forest Road, that's up near north of the canal. We provided an engine and uh, it was a garage fire. We were canceled en route. So of the three fire calls, none of them were in our area, in our coverage area. Mm -hmm. Two EMR calls. So I guess this, this is kind of the new norm because we used to have six to eight to nine calls per, per month and like 10, 12, 13 EMR calls. So that, that's down quite a bit. Training in November, in his, in his notes, training in November was on cold weather pump operations. And Trevor Barron was appointed the new training officer. The Chief 360 is the mobile app, which they have been demoing. Right now it's called Active, Active 911. By majority vote of the fire department members, they decided to go with this new Chief 360. There's a lot more to it where they can record messages and everything on it. There's, there's a whole bunch of features on it. So they decided to go with this Chief 360. Creative signs met with uh, members of the fire department. This is the creative sign. They're going to be putting up a new digital sign in front of the fire department, which was donated from the Ols Olson family. Um, low staff points were posted, and Jason, I know you're going to ask. <laughs> I don't, I don't have the, I don't have the numbers. And the picnic is July twenty seventh, twenty twenty four. Um, in other business, I brought it up to you last month that we we tentatively accepted the bid from Brussels Fire Department, Buck Fire Department for what we call old engine nine hundred six. The truck did not test, did not pass the pump test. But Bug is still buying the truck. We have to um, pay to have the pumps fixed, which could be anywhere from sixteen hundred to forty six hundred dollars. It's kind of the, the guest of it. There's there's three pumps on there all together. And actually, it's the ball valves, which are bad. The ball valves are about eight hundred bucks a piece to replace and and, and install. So that could it could be between sixteen and, and two thousand for that, but if it's another major ball valve to the front, 
that's a three thousand dollar ball well. So, but the sale will still be going through, but we uh, are liable for for getting it fixed. So, and um, we received the final two thousand dollars from Marion Truck Company for the show. For the show, they had sent us three thousand. And so I got on the, on the horn and said, hey, we were told 5,000, how come, how come I short? And for lack of better words, they, they, they said it slipped through the cracks. So. Sure. <laughs> and try it. Try to pull, try to pull a fast one. See if they'll take less. Right? Right. <laughs> so we got the final 2,000 for that. So it was $5,000 total for that truck for going to the Indianapolis show. Um, future items for discussion, our accountant has kind of gave word that he's going to be in the future hanging up his accounting shoes. So we're kind of on the lookout for somebody personal, some, some, you have an account? We have an accountant, Guy Lacasio okay. is our accountant. And, um, he's, he's going to be hanging it up somewhere in the, in the, the near future. So we're, we're kind of. Putting the word out, does anybody know of anybody to, to you know, keep, keep us in mind and let us know and we'll, we'll look into that. Um, another thing on the future items for discussion are um, firemen wages. They haven't, haven't been looked at for a couple of years, being that we kind of knew the split was coming last year, we didn't touch them. And we do have the lowest paid fire chief in all of Door County right now. And from what we went through this last year, me getting to know more of the fire department, the chief, the chief does a lot, <laughs> to say the least. All right, so we're going to be just discussing wages in here in the new future. So um, that's about it. Did I understand you correctly? You had no EMT calls. Two, two, two EMR calls. Oh, EMR calls. Right. Okay. Where we used to have ten, twelve. Right. Someone's in a panic. Yeah, just did that. Piece would ask me. Yep. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. Maplewood Sanitary District. What about the escrow account? Well, you talked about the escrow yeah, account. I, okay. So you've got that. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And we so what we're going to do, so just to recap the escrow account, right? That we're all on, on the same page here, is the 10,652 in chain. They're going to call. The attorney firm make sure are there any outstanding bills so we know period and we'd like to get that account closed so that this can be done by the end of this fiscal year here so that this is taken care of do we have an operating agreement yeah the existing operating agreement has not been changed at this point in time nothing has changed the operating agreement between the townships itself was amended correct what, do we have a copy of the amendment? Oh, I was supposed to give you a copy of it. I am sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I will make a I will make a note of that. That is on well, my yeah. I know you have a bylaws you're now operating under that are different. And as for that, copy of those bylaws. I believe Kevin has those also or not? Uh, I believe I do. If not, if not, if, if, I, if yeah. not, we'll get them. I might have some scribbles yeah, on. I should have that for my files too. Okay. Yeah. Right. We should have that as a board. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, understand. Yeah, I can get that for the next hearing for sure. Yeah, good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um Maplewood Sanitary District. The only thing was the notice has been posted for a commissioner. For the election coming up in April, and what that does, it gives that person, you know, anybody who would want to run. Well, uh, Sean Weatherwax, her, uh, her term is up, and she agreed to run, but she's not going to do any nomination papers, so it'd be just a write-in, unless somebody else wants to run for that position. I just so. I got their thing, and I was telling Larry, they're looking at hiring an accountant. For oh. 2024, which would be really nice. Oh, maybe for the sanitary district. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I, I really nobody needs to take over the accounting part there. Um, it because it's months that the checks don't get cashed. Yeah. Well, there's sometimes, you know, they wanted a bill or it's like, well, you got to send me a bill if you're, we're not just going to pay you something. I got to have a bill to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was kind of glad to see like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that might be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, number 10, cemetery report. We did our cleanup. Was that this month? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. we we did the cleanup at both cemeteries. Um, there were a number of uh, headstones that uh, are getting placed. There are at least two to be placed. And the other day, I was working with uh, Van Gemmer on some engraving on death dates and stuff like that. When we were also at the uh, Towns Association convention. Uh, we raised the question. I raised the question with Carol Norwicki, uh, the town association mm -hmm. attorney, about the perpetual care fund. And in the past, that was a fund that we were understanding we couldn't use. And then during the convention, she said, Oh, no, that no longer is necessary. You can use that money for maintenance of the cemetery. Then I dug into it with the uh, some of the information that I got from Carol, and there was a limit of five hundred dollars, I think, out of a maintenance fund. But in any case, Carol said that that should be rolled into a different fund, and we should change the name of the perpetual care to maintenance fund or something along those lines. So I haven't gotten that uh, administrative rules under the uh, Wisconsin statutes that regulate cemetery operations. So something we're probably looking to do, and then if it, we can do it, we'll do it. Like yeah, the next meeting. but I just want you to be aware of that because when we talked about that, we also then looked at the balances we were looking at budgeting this past month. Um, the, we didn't budget any monies coming from town levy into the cemetery if indeed we can take monies from the perpetual care fund to help offset the costs of mm -hmm. uh, maintaining the cemetery. So the specifics of that, I'll, I'll hopefully have that next month. Yeah, because we don't know if it's $500 a year or if what it is. Use the whole yeah. yeah, so I have, there, there has to be uh, a review of the uh, administrative rules. And it's that's the devil's in the details. They can yep. pass a statute, but then you got to read the administrative rules, which yep. are 10 times yeah. more than what the statute says. Mm -hmm. so. so right now, we've been paying out of our, our budget mm -hmm. to maintain mm -hmm. the secretary mm -hmm. or the cemetery while we Last have, year, we, while we have a cemetery account and we can't touch that money? Well, but perpetual, perpetual care. care. You you can't perpetual touch. care. Yeah. Cemetery, you can't. So you can actually pull the interest off of perpetual care, but... The interest was little or nothing the last how many years. So if you got twenty twenty six thirty dollars out of it, well, and any monies when we when we would sell a site or or we got paid for burial, those and young fees and stuff like that, that we could work with. But that's minimal. We don't have burials on a real okay. some years consistent basis. So. We always had augmented that from levy, from town mm -hmm. funds, to maintain the lawn care. Basically, that's what it was. There's been years where we, now this past year, we didn't transfer the money, even if it was budgeted last year. Right. It was 2500 We just didn't, didn't need it, so. No, you didn't no. need it. No, didn't need it, so we didn't do it. Right. So, just, we need to understand what those administrative rules are mm -hmm. with regard to how much of that money and I think we need to change the, the name from perpetual care, but then that will affect our cemetery rules and everything else. So mm -hmm. uh, just to make you aware of that, that came up as uh, in an open session. That was a good question to ask. Who? Well, she, 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 yeah. she brought it up cemeteries. Yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. we'll, uh, there's always so much you get out of the town association yeah, conventions. Uh -huh. So anyway, that will come up next month. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, broadband update? Well, there was a meeting. <laughs> there was a big meeting. Uh, the 
broadband committee uh, called a meeting at uh, Southern Door uh, High School Auditorium. And I got to say, there's about 150 people in attendance at that meeting. And it went on what a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was interesting to me just to hear the questions that were being asked uh, because I've been going to almost all of these meetings. I went to the summit last month, also to this public hearing. There'll be another public hearing in March uh, on the 13th, prior to uh, probably having to put a uh, question on the ballot, a referendum question. Mm -hmm. When the uh, when John Cook, the chair of the ad hoc committee, went through the detail on a PowerPoint presentation, there were three clerks, <laughs> Ruth and uh, Joanne, Joanne and Ninus from, from over in Brussels and Amy Sackett from Gardner. Mm -hmm. And the three of them were sitting there and I was sitting behind them <laughs> and I saw their phones open and they were just, they were looking up on the screen and they were going between themselves. And I heard, well, it turns out John Cook had gotten wrong numbers from somewhere and put it in his public presentation. Oh my, that raised all kinds of questions. Yeah. So we're waiting to find out what is actually going to cost. And the truth of the matter is that thing is still uh, a dynamic uh, world because there was a capital funds grant made for improvement of the, um, and this is not right either. I got this. Yeah. It, so this is this was the thing we got phase one and that's phase. the new ours is right down there now on the bottom, but you can hardly read it. Well, the print is so small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Th this is the this is the second one he sent the out. Corrected one. The corrected one. So he sent a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So we got corrected numbers, finally got the proper valuation yes, of the yeah. town, and then that breaks down. So if you look at the town of Forestville. Um, their projections today are are interesting. The projected program is going to cost a million five, but if they're successful in getting bead money, right. this is all phase two of the grant process, then uh, we would be required to contribute $868,668 to this process. Um, and if you add in interest at the current rate, what you'd be doing is be borrowing about a million five over a 20 year period. That's just for this town? Just for this yes. town. Right. The project itself is a $15 million project. Mm -hmm. And what has, there's two grant requests. One is the capital funds grant, which Brightspeed applied for, and they are it's they can only be applied for those improvement monies as a incumbent carrier. Mm -hmm. So they're the incumbent carrier telephone mm -hmm. company here, and it's to uh, build up their backbone, their back locations. One in Gardner, one in Forestville. So if they get the grant money, that opens up their capacity then to go into phase two. It will, phase one would also include the town of Gardner. And because of the rock and everything else up there. Well, that was there. the most under, 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 unserved. Unserved. Because unserved. that's right. what that grant was really for, is the unserved people. Correct. So they did that. They I mean, that's already applied for. You won't know until February or March when they get it. If indeed that grant money does not come as a capital fund, money, then Gardner will join the other three, Brussels Union and Forestville, for application to feed funding, which is broadband equity, um, access, um, and deployment or development. Right. And you were at the, at the summit? I was at the summit. Yeah, we were all at the summit. Uh, I was there along with that whole committee. I honestly believe our committee is way, way far ahead than the rest of the majority of those people there. Some of them had no clue as even what was going on. Well, this is true. In fact, at the meeting last week at uh, the 
high school, it was mentioned that half of the reporting numbers for the state came from Door County. So on a statewide basis, when you look at Door County and the broadband ad hoc committees all over the county, it's providing more than half of the facts and figures that the uh, state is working with, all from Door County. And this work, we are way ahead. Absolutely. I mean, they're doing a fantastic job. So, so it's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be, I think you got, did you get the letter from John Cook? If anybody, uh, any constituents want some additional information, did you get that letter from John Cook? I don't know if I did. Okay, well, we, we have to get information out as it becomes available, but it's a dynamic and fluid situation. These grants, the, the B grants, aren't even going to be available until after, after the new year. So there's, even though the money's done now, that capital funding is closed as of November 7th, and they did apply for that. Uh, when this new bead funding comes open, they still have to write the rules as to how you go about it. Mm -hmm. But that requires municipality and ISP, International Service Provider, partnership. So we'd have to look in a contract and whatever monies we've been working or whatever uh, things that have been worked on by these four towns, each individual town will have then have to uh, contract independently with the recommended ISP, which is Brightspeed. Now, the difference there, we can save those bids came in half of what the other bids were like from charter and uh, that type of thing. The reason it did because the uh, incumbent phone carrier has the right of ways. They have the make ready, they have access to the poles. So they don't have to do a lot of engineering in order to put this in. They already have it all in place. Mm -hmm. The question was raised during the meeting though, can't you use some of the fiber you already put in? And the fellow who was speaking for bright speed wasn't um he's pretty new at it he doesn't really understand what's going on here but the truth of the matter is there's a lot of fiber that's underground it's old technology fiber and they've laid new fiber but they don't have adequate fiber to go to the premises all of e911 addresses so it's going to be numbers are going to be a little fluid and dynamic Hopefully by early next year, we'll have some good numbers to start to consider as to what we want to do and what, how that question goes on the um, referendum. Do you have to have, when do you have to have that referendum question in? January? No, I don't think January. To get it on the ballot? Well, this would be for the April election. Yeah. 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 Well, whatever the deadline is to get a, a yeah. referendum question, on the April ballot. Mm -hmm. February, yeah, February. I would think it, yeah. February. I would yeah. think February. Right. Because we have an election probably in February. Well, um, for the will that be a primary? Primary. Mm -hmm. right. So it would have to be after that. Right. So in any case, uh, there'll be much more coming. We've got a lot, mm -hmm. lot, there's been a tremendous amount of work done. I've gotten a contact from someone as to what was the town doing anything, you know? Right, yeah. and I was banned. <laughs> Thank you for responding to that. I, I, I did because it people don't see 15 months worth of work by a dozen right. people over four, yeah. or four mm -hmm. municipalities. It, it's been a lot of work. work. And we're, we're paying for those meetings from the uh, ARPA fund. Is that correct, Luke? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So, in any case, there will be more coming, and we'll get more updates on this for sure. Can I ask a simple question? Sure. I'm not doing the real broadband and everything, but I live. I'm the last house on town line or on town line from Lincoln. Now, is this broadband? Is this going to help oh. us in any way? Every household in the town. Are you in force with town? Yeah. Every household in the town. We'll get fiber to the home. So are they just gonna stop at my house then? Because after my house is Lincoln. Are yes. you in the town? Of course. Yes, you will. You will you, you will have fiber. Yeah. You'll probably be the end of the line. 
So being yeah. see the so our taxes are reflect this, and I probably won't see that for another fifteen years. You won't see that. You won't. You won't see no. that. All of us won't see that for about two or three years. My guess is you probably will begin if indeed we decide to go with that as a town and it's supported by a referendum, yes or a no vote, should we or shouldn't we, we'll have actual figures. And it's at that point that then we have to go enter into contracting with the ISP. And then we would have to go into a, uh, a grant application, which would then dictate how much money we'd have to borrow. We would not probably get into that scenario until late 24, 25. Mm -hmm. And then we'd be a couple of years out before you actually see fiber in the ground. So to answer your question, every home and business in the town will have access by way of fiber. And it'll be obviously built out as best it can be. You'll be following the current, are you on bright speed now for CenturyLink? Do you have its phone? No, just a cell phone movie list for a cell phone carrier. Okay, but you used to have a, a landline and it was CenturyLink, right? Yep. Or, or so phone company. CenturyLink. Go back far enough. So it'll be built out just like every other place. Whether or not then you will decide to hook up to that, uh, you'll be paying, ultimately you'll be paying for whatever we have to borrow based on what we get in the way of fee grant money and contribution from the um, ISP. It's a 50% contribution. Both the town and the uh, ISP are both going to be putting in some eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000. And then what we'll also have some grant monies and it'll then tell us what do we have to borrow. So yes, it would show up on your uh, tax bill probably the year they started the build out, which may be not until 26 or something like that. If then you have that fiber at the house, whether or not you hook up and use their service, that's totally up to you. That would be a separate bill. That's, that's a separate service. service. That's a, separate the bill. service would be separate and their projection is at $60 a month for uh, 200 megabit up, 200 megabit down. It is really was a clear on there's a running town of Lincoln, but we have a Floresville address. That's what I'm saying. Is my am I gonna be paying Floresville or am I gonna be paying No, if you're in the town of Lincoln, that'd be Lincoln. That's if you're whoever you're, you're paying however you're question. paying your taxes to, right? Yeah. Oh, Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. That was my question. Then you're like you're not, line, not no. Floresville line. No. But no. are you are you physically no, in Floresville address? No, he's in the but he pays, yeah, yeah. So right, for his right. address, but he right. pays his taxes to Lincoln. Then you're yeah. then you're then you're in, in, then you're in so we won't have and well. you're, no, you're no. our address is for well. Right. Yeah. Okay. See our town, even if it's town of Forestville, we have Algoma and Sturgeon Bay addresses. Mm -hmm. I live a mile down the road in Sturgeon Bay. I'm Sturgeon Bay. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's, that's, that's what I was yeah. Thinking. So you're actually you're you're in Kiwani County. Yeah. Yeah. Physically oh, yeah. in Kiwani County, this no. does not apply. No. This is like we're right on the line. Uh -huh. Maybe you can make a deal. Good luck. Good luck, man. This is a complex task. To yes. yeah, so I've been going to a Gardner's town board meeting in the union. Oh, well, you're here. You're here, Carl. Yeah. So you guys are projecting this out to be like 2026 before this actually happens? Well, I mean, first you got to get the federal dollars in. Right. You can even get it. But yeah. technically, you're saying we have to be in can't even, we we can't really go contract or until, until go into know. partnership with an ISP <laughs> until we get through the referendum project. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go to referendum if we don't have good projections of costs and grant potential. If you want high speed internet right now and you can get started now, you could be set up tomorrow with that. Yes. Or wait for or spend $135 a month. Right. Spend $700 on the front end. Right. Or, or right. as Dina I discovered today, as T Mobile, and she's using T Mobile, and she's got over a hundred down and almost 20 up. So 50 bucks a month. Oh, ours that is terrible. T Mobile. Your T Mobile is terrible? No, I mean oh. ours are it's just horrible. are you bright speed? Uh, yeah. 
Because oh, that's yes, that's, I mean we've we've done the satellite thing, we've done the phone thing, we've done them all. They're they're all horrible. There's no question about that. I mean, you might as well go outside and yell. That's you. You're getting better. <laughs> better reception. And <laughs> like in the sleepy hollow area, some have to leave that area to go yeah, to, even use their phone. Phone. to use their phone. Mm -hmm. Force mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't get service. All you get is the that's fine for sleepy hollow. It's been. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You can't download. There's, for you? Yes. Over one J. Almost insane. That's how is you, how is your one J? Yeah. I got the uh, bird tracker. Broadband. Sure. So it's fine. Yeah, it works, but it works. It's slow. It's we can slow. watch uh, Netflix or movies on Netflix and stuff, and it'll just download at first and never stop throughout the whole movie. Oh, see, we can. See, we, we, we can. We have our time with that too. Yeah, you can't deny it. Oh, we ours you know our ours keeps going, but we don't have any problems. Well, you're on T-Mobile at home, and you're on Starlink at the farm, and broadband. Well, yeah. We're on all three. <laughs> yeah. Can we just get one? We words? can't afford that. <laughs> that's, and that's literally what came up out of this public meeting they had last week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there were several people in there who were on Starlink and they said, well, I'm reasonable. Well, yeah, but this is broadband equity, you know, and access deployment. Well, access means that it has to be available. Let's say you're living off in some back road, you know, little farmhouse, and you're a very low income family, mm -hmm. and the kids need broadband for school. Mm -hmm. They can get some federal assistance in broadband, but if the fiber isn't there, they can't do it. Mm -hmm. And so, broadband is slow, though. I mean, we have it down at the parlor, and you wait. It's not if it's on fiber, it won't be slow. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's crazy pretty... when I was going to just. Or Jan's brother in Colorado, and he's in love with my dude. It everything's instant. It's like poop, poop. It, yeah. Poop. Yes. I mean, us, you, you know what? We'll go do chores and come back, and maybe it'll be downloaded. I don't know. I mean, it's like, are you kidding me? You got to sit here all day to do nothing. Well, I assisted both Ruth and Dina, and you said mine was slow too. Years, and it was all slow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took time to get those files that we moved from. Oh, yeah, it's a couple hours. Rack space on over. Mm -hmm. We're into the broadband update, but you know, okay. we're yeah. going right into the hey go and, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <Okay. clears throat> All right, all right. Website. Yeah. So hey gov is where we are at the website. So yeah. Okay. Hey gov and the website. I finally. Uh, oh, you got that Zoom invoice? Is that probably going to pay bills? Yes, I think okay, good. So. Um, we also got uh, a notice from the world of town web informing us that they successfully created the redirect on our website. So if you go into forestvilletown.com, it automatically redirects you to Forestville dot wi forestvilletown dot wi dot gov. Mm. So we our whole migration on the thirteenth of this month is complete. It's been successful. I've gotten most people email up. Not everybody yet. We're working on it, Jason. But Ruth's is working. Yours is working. Uh, yours is now working. You have access to your files. All the files that were existing in Rackspace. The only difference is going to be that we'll have this additional month of rack space billing coming through on the credit card uh, during this transition period. I want to make sure absolutely everything is there. I have only worked with the archive for you and myself uh, for the chair and the supervisor two position so that I was sure that the archives were there and functional. Mm -hmm. I have not valid verified any of the others. And I need to do that. Uh, there's a whole other procedure, and there's a new uh, service yeah. provider for that. Uh, so I should have that completed certainly by next month's meeting. But uh, I think it went fairly smoothly. Uh, that Saturday, Sunday was a little choppy. Uh, I told everybody, don't do anything. On <laughs> and Ruth right away, oh, here you go. I get this up there and get that up there. So. We're yeah. done on the 13th. Uh, by the time I, I 
open the world up again the following Monday. Uh, I had a few real interesting uh, hours, but it's working. It's all it's all there. It all works, which is incredible. Yeah, I think it went pretty good overall. So, perfect. Thank you. Uh, item 13, roads and road work. So, do you have anything you want to talk about? You, yeah, you had right. asked me about the posts. I right? contacted about the posts. Do you guys really <laughs> have, I want to post them to Mark Culver's and stuff? Um, we can put them in a the problem. They're waiting and ready to go. But it's going to save you guys 1300 bucks if you don't. And you have us to do the ditch cutting next year. We already know where the stuff is going. So it's kind of a catch point, too. And, and when we put the posts and we put them at the towns right away. You know, we don't put them at the end of the culvert. So that kind of defeats the purpose because then we're going to have to go around and we put them at the towns right away so we know there's a, a truck in there. The thing is, a lot of farmers are farming in the towns right away. So when we put the posts there, all we, all we created the problem for both ends. We kind of ran into that with Tom Lincoln, and that's why I really brought it up. Kind of, and that's why I said I, we'll talk about it you know, at, the, at the board meeting here if we want to do that or not. We'll get some input. That so, sign that's by our place, I think it's chill, Slow Children, Slow Children, Slow yeah. Play It. I don't know. That sign is still laying in the ditch. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, <laughs> an old down road. That's a yeah. sign. That's a Donald sign. It was down since highway. he's cut. And yeah. it, well, it got thrown into it. the into the field. So now I think one of some one of somebody took it out of the field. So when we cut the grass, we aren't hitting the sign. I so think it's just laying in the ditch. Old mill. Yeah. yeah. Toward down the on the end. dead end. On the dead end side. On the right or left? On the side? going down, it's on the right. Yeah, you wouldn't be much help on the left. What is it? <laughs> Slow children. Slow children, yeah. <laughs> The sign is <laughs> I think it's, it's a sign damage. You know, Children at play slow or something. I don't you know, no, I I don't know. I think it just fell over. Yeah. I think the post and everything is fine. I think it just fell over. I know you brought up the one on right after your farm on the middle road, the one that's 30 feet tall and is leaning like this. Can't go down any farther because it's better off. Yeah. So it's only down about that far. Mm -hmm. That's probably the problem. Yeah. yeah. We stood it up for you guys last year as we just bumped it last year with the mowers and it fell over. Mm -hmm. And we stood it up, but I know why the county didn't go down that far because it's all a good rock. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. is there a way of moving it forward or backward or whatever? It's or? right in the middle of that hill. And it's for a lot of the things for the pit, truck entry. Um, I think if you move it down farther, probably get her in farther. But there's no trucks coming in and out of there now. There's like three sides. There's three different mornings. It's over the hill. It would be. They don't have no driveway on that hill anymore. It's always it's on center. Yeah. yeah. So there's no driveway coming out of there. So yeah. I don't even know why it would have to be in there. So when you're going past it, take take them up and move it. Yeah. You'll see. I mean, it's it's leaning. It's still yeah. standing from last year, but she's only sticking on the ground. Probably wasn't that far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much, and it's it's a fourteen foot road. Four by six by fourteen feet. So she's top heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, signs are going in. We fell a little bit behind on the signs. Um, everything else got done for the roads that had on the contract. There's some other roads that should be done, but like I said in the beginning, they can wait. <laughs> There's one bridge on Maple Road. Oh, let me check on those Maple Road, the bridge, the first bridge on Maple Road is a tree that's really overhanging. We cleared it on the bridge and everything, but that tree is she's overhanging pretty bad. You guys want to stick down? Is it in our well the, the yeah, hanging the, parts in our right away? The, right? the tree is in the right away. The tree is in the right away. Yeah, but she's on her own. Because I see where one tree fell already and damaged the guardrail. Kind of there, there's three roads. Across. There's Wilkie Road, there's a bad tree that's, that's hanging. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. Uh, South Carnot, there's a pretty neat good sized tree and that Maple Bridge. So there's three trees that should come down. So you can go. And those trees, you'd have to close the road. Mm -hmm. 
What kind of dollars are we talking about? Um, usually we charge about 250 a tree. But if you do all three, you could probably catch you a little bit better deal. Because we don't want to take our boom truck and we just tip them. Yeah. That's, that's too bad. So actually, we can chip everything right back in. Right. So we don't want to take nothing with us. It's a lot cheaper. Um, and we'll probably do the three trees. We can write our own 450. And just get everything back in the ditch. You the one tree on no. You put the ditch. chips in the ditch? Yeah, we'll blow them right back in the ditch. Not, not to obstruct the water flow, right? No, it's the fans are all pretty good. I mean, it doesn't leave a pile. Okay. So you got to remember the branches, if you ever chipped any trees, I probably leaves any, not very much. Um, the one tree on Maple, on the bridge, I seen where, where you guys had the colony or whatever, they cut the trees and they pushed them back. We can do that too. And it's even cheaper. Into what land? Whose land? They left in the towns right away. No, we don't want that. I don't speak at all. So make it, <laughs> make it go away. Because yeah, what I did do when we were there, because I'm the one that did make the make world bridge, the trees that were laying in the towns right away in the ditch, I just took the excavator and I kind of pushed them right tied up to the towns right away. That was that. So it doesn't obstruct the yep. flow of water. Yep. And I got them on the way, so we don't have any more more. But that's totally up to you guys. Um, you can wait till they fall, or I I think you should deal with them before they fall because after they fall, now it's a crisis, and we got to call somebody to get out there immediately. And yep. there's enough other things going on. It was just these three roads that we're gonna have to have to close down the road for 25, 30 minutes. Like I don't do. You know, I how do you guys really feel? I think that's reasonable. Yeah. I think it's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to make a motion. Will, will the uh, property owner be okay with that? Well, it's Just, in our right away, though. Yeah. That's the thing. It's That's in our right away. Okay. We got okay. to maintain our well, this, thing, But we ran into this before in the Tolan Gardener. Even to tell a property owner they're going to pay for it with falls. Because it's in the Tolan's right away, and if they don't want to cut, the tree falls. Not our pay for it. You got to pay for it. Yeah, but that would have to get done in writing. It was kind of like a warning to the homeowner that it is come down now. But these trees are in the right way. Well, yeah. Yep, that one maple road is probably four feet off. Um, Rilke Road, that's maybe three to four feet. It's right as that small park starts. The big hill. Big hill. Um, yeah. um, South Carnot, it's it's right at Towns right away. It's in the Towns right away, but it's, it's right at the end. Right on the edge. Big guys. Way over England. Yeah. Is yeah. so by the Kirk? We've seen it. South Carolina? South Carolina. South Carolina. We've talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. For 450. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 So I have, I have a motion to to go ahead and have you take the hey, three, three trees down and uh, for, for 450 and then you can chip it in the ditch as long as you're not obstructing the waterway and, right. and you don't upset the guys cutting the ditch. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> so you should really make it good for yourself. <laughs> well, if you notice as you're driving along, everything that we cut with the, the machine, it's, it's right down to the ground. And now so, you guys notice that no road at all. You didn't get any phone calls? On that corner? No, I just got the those. I had enough phone calls about the ditch cutting this year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really clear Good up. lord. <laughs> um, I know that because that guy's property comes right down the road. On um, right in the stop sign on no road in the war zone. Right in the, in the village. Well, it's not. It's on no road in J. That's in the village. Once you make the curb by the dam there, that little bit of a yep. little hook there, that turns in the village. Well, that's a nice deal. Well, it's cut. <laughs> <laughs> Across the trail. Gary appreciates that. Across the trail, you're in the way in the village. Well, it's cut. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'll second that motion. 
All right. So I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you make a motion, Kevin? Kevin did. Jason. Jason did. Jason. Sorry, okay. Somebody did. All okay. opposed? Hearing none, that will carry. If you can get that done, that would be awesome. Okay. So we're going back to that is the road that comes in from is that Gary or Gate Is that the road? Yeah, That's part of our part, job. part of it, yeah. yeah. Where does it turn in the village? Where does it turn the town? Where the road? Right where the, the, the sanitation Sanitary track where the yeah. starts. Yeah. Oh, where the uh, we do not own that piece that comes up into the village that includes the sanitary district or their, their treatment plant. Hmm. But beyond that, to the right, to the top, yeah. to the you top can top. really see when you look at the road. The road's That's really nice. Point. Like gets two both the bills. It cuts right there on the road and gets really crappy. That's the village. <laughs> That's how it is. That's the yeah. line right there. They may have. They may have done some maintenance. Or oh, did they do some maintenance over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but in any case, it's <clears throat> it's the prior to the sewage treatment plant south so of there. Just cutting the stuff there too. Yeah, you'd stop at the town's property mm -hmm. if you're cutting for who for the, the ditches. town, cut the ditches. You only cut from there to the town line back, to, yes, well, back to X or whatever. Well, they're getting a lot done. Well, <laughs> ready to thank you for your business. <laughs> Turn a bill on the Terry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Terry will be glad to see you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So well, as far as the post, what do we want to do with the post? What, how are you guys feelings on that? And I mean, you guys farm, Lauren, you farm too. Uh, that means basically the width of that driveway, there's going to be a post right there. And I, my opinion is that's oh. a bugger when they try to turn their equipment. It's going to hook them. It's going to bend them. It's getting bigger. All my headers are 40 feet. Yeah, they're huge. And you mean just... So I... And it's the same thing with culverts that cross the road. Yeah. You know, we're going right up to the town right away, the post. So it's one thing that making life, you know, they're getting back to towns right away. There's so many farmers that were actually going into the ditch. So it's, that's going to happen too. You're going to have uh, that, che that, cheaters that, that turn in. There's people. You know, see, that's going to be a problem because you're going to wreck the edge of that road, is what's going to take place. And that, that has to can, can we just do cross culverts? The like culverts that cross under the road instead of do it for people. instead of driveways to fields? The biggest thing is we gotta mark well we you know now this is our second year, we kind of know where everything is and how everything is when you're down. But if you get a different company that comes in, that was the biggest thing is having markers so you can see all that so you wouldn't damage all these culverts and you know, we've gone through how many tractor tires by like, puncturing them at the corner. Well, how many culverts are good wrecked too? Well, I know we got one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, there's a good 60 culverts in your township that are trashed. The ends are junk. Right. That and we ultimately we end up with backs up years and years and years of it. And then that's what that's what does the culverts in a lot of times too, is when the mower hits it. It, it folds it over. up and it folds it, and then you get a rust spot underneath there. That starts. So, yeah. So you're talking about putting posts by every country? Oh, yeah. By everything post. that's every... a big obstruction that we can't see when the grass is tall. Which would be to every farm field, is what he's saying. Yeah. It could be possible. You know, that has a culvert? A culvert or a GE box. Yeah. And in fact, there's, there's a lot of GE boxes that you can drive down the road, and almost every road has a GE box. That's, Try. my internet don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Right. So I know we, did, we ran through G box in our township this year, and there's no way we could tell it was there. There's because you know we try we try to bring you right back to your towns right away. And we're going along and the brush was super tall and thick, and I didn't know it until I see it's it hidden. More. Yeah. It's hidden. Without a marker, you don't you don't know that. Don't know. But you put the markers in, be happy with and then we're going to end up with them get damaged. The markers get damaged. Yep, and the markers are fence posts, so whoever hits it, they're going to 
Um, Some of that equipment is pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't do it, I'm going to save you I think it's 1300 bucks. And I said, if we go again next year, we know, we kind of know where everything we're going to tell them now. This year, you're doing it, now, but if somebody else does it. Are you going to be able to get us a, an estimate on next year's stuff? I'm assuming you should know by now. You know what I mean? For it's probably going to be after the first year, it's the big, the big driver is fuel cost. Because right now, or just use your battery one. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> friend, we might still be going home. Yeah, it's probably going to stay right around the same. That's because the fuel prices then fluctuate all that much. So will probably stay right around the same price. I think I kept it for you guys. I kept it the same price as a year before. I think so. Yeah, I think it was like nineteen hundred bucks. <laughs> it was worth it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so you so much cutting for the day. <laughs> yeah. So is that a go on the fence post? Are you guys okay with that? We pass on the fence post. I I don't I I I don't know that I know enough about it. Well, I don't, my you know, fear is I, that I, I know, yeah, we saved $1,300, right. huh? Well, why don't yeah. we just address this in spring? And then maybe just mark, like what you said, crops. When you do your road. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. was going to say we do a road inspection. Road inspection. Some of the things you talked about with trees, we normally would have picked that up on fall right. road inspection. Right. We didn't do right. one this year. So um, let's let's... Postpone that. I mean, part. you guys didn't seem really thrilled about the idea of the post center. So, well, see, I was kind of thinking it would be yes. by the culvert. Yeah. But then I understand, well, I can't get my cutter to go through. Right. I got to be over. So now right. it's going to be right on the edge of the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Well, yes, but now I'm coming with my equipment. My mm -hmm. tractor right. came in. We made that turn. That post is never going to stay there. No, that's right. It's just not. It's going to be gone right. every time. And now you're talking. I mean, this equipment is crazy expensive. You might just, be taking thirteen hundred bucks and throwing it out the window at that point. Right. right. The posts are going to disappear. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. Especially so you're going to take them out and throw them, get them out of here, put them in my truck. Because it's a nice post. I mean, I I know somebody might just go and take them just because it's a scrap steel. So I agree. So. And you're going to break back. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jason, that's why I brought. That's why I brought it up. Next time we take, so. <laughs> I think if, we, if I had a vote, I'd say no. postpone this discussion till spring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll revisit this in spring. But as for the rest of this year, let's postpone that. But for sure, the trees. Let's get those down. You want to bring it over? Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> um, the intergovernmental agreement. I had signed yeah. and we're going to be sent over to the county. Um, as far as other road work, that's for them to do our road calling. Correct. And, and, yeah. And, yeah. And if there's some emergency, whatever, um, that get authorizes them to do that. Um, this is a question for Van Rolls subdivision um, that we kind of talked about a little bit. I'm assuming we should really look into this a little bit, I, you know, and I, I I can move forward on that. But as of right now, there's nothing but a little goat path going up there. That's right. But it says it's our town road, according to Sue. According to Sue Van Landenberg, uh, the land use. Correct. Land services. Correct. It's not. On our wide uh, whistler report, absolutely, it's not. It's no. it's not a road. We don't get road But my correct. Sure. No. It's but, field. Yeah. But my problem is, is then if it tells you it's your road, then who's responsible for this thing? Blah blah blah. And this never seems to end. Well, it's your road. It's a town road because we apparently adopted this. When? Now this is the, her, her whole letter is right there. Now well, what we can do is basically. Mm -hmm. In order to remove this as a town road, you would need to board with the register of the deeds, document vacant vacating the road. You know, at such a time that vac vacate 
vacating, you know, is uh, recorded, the road would be split and attached to the adjoining lots. That's what it should be. It should not be. And a developer, developer in a development agreement would then have to put the road in. Correct. Yes. Correct. But what that does is that changes the setbacks from private to a town road. Okay, for the buildable lot area within, Understood. which is no concern of mine or yours or anybody's as far as that goes. My concern is, is you'll have an argument at some point saying, well, this is the town road. You guys should be paying to take care of this. Well, that was, no, that should never be whatever. If, if this, some of us signed something back in whenever this was taken care of, but this is not... I don't think this is what we want. I, I think we maybe, have to talk to our attorney to find out. Well, this just we, came back and forth from, as of today from, from Stu. That's okay. the land services department. Correct. Correct. Because there's somebody who has been asking about purchasing a few lots and wanted to know the buildable area. I gave her her answer and I based it off of going on the GIS map. Right. All right. And it shows private road. Right. Okay, so I gave her her multiple pages of explanation. Right. Well, then Sue comes back, right, because she'll get carbon into that. And then she's like, well, you know, I looked at this thing, and this isn't right, because this is here, and this is a town road. This is a town road. Well, now I've got a problem in my mind. This is not a town road. It should not be a town road, nor does the town want it. We have... We have rules and ordinances in line that that's supposed to be blacktopped and X amount of footages and blah, 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 before that would ever become a town road. And that's the developers. That's no different than Correct. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Correct. There could Correct. be a gravel. Well, go bad. I understand on the web map that that's showing the road in two ways. The center line layers looks private, but the road layers right of way shows that it's the town road per plat. So that's and the town who road. planted part. that? The developer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't care. But all I know is if it's done in this wording, it's our road. And right now, I don't want it. It's not my road. I don't care about your dirt field. We're mm -hmm. not putting in a road there. No, it's a developer's problem. So we both all agree. I mean, that I can go into this and get this changed, whatever I need to do yeah, to get this yeah, done. The right. are wrong. Yeah. No argument on my end. I'm telling you that now. It's okay. Not, it's not mown. It's not plowed. No. It's part of his field. Yes. It's, just it's still a field. But you legality purposes, it says town road. Come fix my road. Well, there is no road. Well, that's what it says on the plot here or whatever. So that the records are incorrect. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. So the board agrees. I can go ahead and, and do what I need to do to get this changed All the right. way it should be changed. Right. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, done. <laughs> I agree. I will work on that. And remind you, I just got this probably an hour or two before the meeting. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You got to be kidding. This tell, isn't tell Sue to do it. Yeah. Right. I mean, our, rec our records are black and white. Her records are wrong. She should get a choice. But, but it's her. not her. Well, whoever, whoever did this, whoever did this surveying of the lot or whatever has that in there. And we did that done. This was done where you can hardly read this thing. I right. remember when when Curl six twenty seven of O three. Which O three? I remember the nineteen O three. I'm sorry, but I want to. I remember when Curl was going to divide that up, but there never was a road put in there. Right, because nobody wanted lots at that point. No, no. Yep. So whoever owns that the that road, that's no different than our little subdivision they're trying to make to... Uh, down the other way out of just past Maple Leaf. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah, but that's the same thing. Yeah, the back there, and now they from the dam. Yeah. Remember where the main storage is? We annexed that. Yeah, we yeah we annexed it, but I'm just saying the village annexed it from the from the town. I have another situation that came up. <laughs> Guy Overbeck had gotten a hold of me and right down Mill Road here where we redid the road. He says that his culvert is the gravels on both ends of it and we need to deal with it. He wants to know if he can 
dig it up and extend it and whatever. Well, I stopped over there. What color is this? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I said, I don't see a culvert. There is no culvert there. So it's right, it's going right into this field here. So it's, you see this thing, right? Yes, because it's just like this on the only one. It's right here. And that's a field entrance? Yeah. Coming into to the field here. Yep. So what it is, is it borders the two properties here. Um, recently, old, old Elm Road had some work performed on it. It appears that part of the project was graveling uh, being distributed to the existing driveways, which would have to this world got shouldered. Yeah. yeah. Shouldered basically. But yeah. you know, because yeah. his went down, so you ended up with whatever. As a result, a culvert was covered on both ends of and then it of there the field slash driveway. I'm telling you straight up, I there I honestly don't believe there's a culvert there. Cause water would have went down it at some point. You would see grass of some point of something that there's just absolutely nothing. So in my opinion, there is nothing. So there. it's a field entrance that he did not have a culvert in. Well, he or said he he's been the there since the boy. Like right. He's been there since. Yeah. Well, there was a driveway. You could see that. And I mean, it's not very wide at all. So I had talked to him and he's basically asked, you know, well, could I extend that culvert and this and that? And I said, honestly, I'm going to tell you what I believe the board is going to say. And I will bring it up to him is that you will have to file for uh, a driveway permit it'll cost you the 20 bucks that way all the rules and regulations are in there and you're going to need a culvert period you'd have to put a culvert in. correct so he he kind of wanted to do that to begin with and can he widen it i don't see why you can't hmm. but i well, my suggestion was basically we aren't doing anything with this because there's nothing there that i can see that we would need to do to, to, just nothing and then you fill this out and we will move on beyond that point in time. And if so you guys do it online, with... make sure it's complete. Correct. Oh, I said you can do it online or print it off and, and oh, get it to us however yeah. you want. Oh, oh, it was old Elm. So it's on the other side of the highway. Oh, yeah. It's, on, it's easy. Yeah. The highway. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm assuming the board is in agreement yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Fill this out. Oh, you you got to fix out. whatever you need yeah. to fix and make it right. Three years ago. Because it's been there since he was a boy. It's a field right in the corner. I'm fine with that. It comes in off the highway. Yeah. Well, it comes in off. There's All right. right before the woods. I think there must be one that long. Yeah. 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 The field. Yeah. The field. Yeah. The field entrance. Uh, the two roads were in appliance with the TRID funding. Okay. Um, I guess I can give you a verbal update of what I've been told is that it, it goes in steps. Okay. So the county, we do our application, we apply. The county is You're the talking trip. now trip, trip or one of those? the trip. Yep, for okay. the trip for creating a new on, on town line road in Krieger to make that That's semi good. access to get it out of the village. Okay, yeah, we need to get it out of the village. Town line road and Krieger road, correct. That would be brought up to what we want to be truck standard, yeah, for highway for standard. Road. Yep, widen it the whole, the right. whole nine yards. Right. Um, right now they did their ratings on the projects on the county level we're number one so everybody agrees this is this is number one at the list now we got to get to the so same which one both those roads rigor and town line correct it's got to be one it's got to the pro i know it's two roads but the project is one project because it's how, agriculture well oh, well because it is, that, that's it is one's, one's, right. right but you're changing it and it's really to get be safe and get it out of that village. Oh, absolutely. So we're heading in the right direction. That's as far as the process is so gone. had the committee, the, the the Door County group that got together. Yes, and they what they, they do is all, all projects that come in, right? We yep. sit down and we wait all these. Right now, that's rated number one. So we passed one hurdle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now it goes to be, to to be continued. Yes. Now it goes to the as state. we as we go on, we will go on. Okay. Um, we, we also applied for another, um, grant, um, and what we did is I went back to some of our roads and some of the things we had rated and center road was, was one of them. Okay. And I had asked him to give me a number on pulverizing that just basically what we just did up here, two and a half inches of concrete. 
Um, he gave me a number on that, an estimate of 100 and basically, let's just say 70,000 fabbed in. So I, for which road? Oh, this yeah. is gonna be North Carnet Road. Okay. Oh, okay, South County S to North Carnet. So I don't have the map in front yeah. of me. Okay, yeah. so there were, we had rated it like a, a four, some spots it was even worse, whatever. And then I kind of drove yeah. down those roads to get an idea. So I said, this is what we would like to do. So we received 18,000 toward that. Then he had asked me, he said, so I, I got six projects that I can do a lot of pool of money, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you the 18,000 for that. We won that part of it. But he's like, well, what year do you wanna use that? You don't have to do it. <laughs> What's that? Don't you have just a limited amount of time to do that work? Two years. Two years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But I said, well, Thad, it depends. Because if we get this road, I'd like our road budget to go toward this so we're not borrowing as much, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have the funds to, I can't do both. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I'll tell you what. We'll put yours down for 25 then. Mm -hmm. And by that time, we'll know where this is sitting. Mm -hmm. And if we have to adjust mm -hmm. along the way, we'll adjust along the way. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So at least we, we got 18000 in that ballpark, which I thought was awesome because... For that piece of road. Yes. 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 Yep. Okay. So that's what we were working on there. Then we had some question on these trees falling, right? Who's responsible? How do we go about dealing with this? Well, kind of funny um, because Jeff from Sturgeon Bay had called and asked us what we were doing. And I said, well, right now we've been taking care of our end of you know, get it out of the road on the town. On the town, and we've we've been dealing with paying that and taking care of that. But the problem that you're going to run into with all these ash trees is sure. going to start to be a real issue. Oh, it already is. So, I guess we want to talk about how we're going to deal with that. You know, the WTA had actually brought out uh, during recent thunderstorms a tree falls into the roadway. Who is responsible for the removing? Well, according to the statute 86.031, if a tree falls on an adjacent landowner's property into the highway, both the property owner and the municipality share responsibility for removing the tree from the highway. However, the town can face liability and negligence, failure to remove such tree promptly in a manner, basically safety issue, right? Mm -hmm. So what that is saying is, because I then talked to him about this as well, you know, can we do something or whatever? Because technically, my opinion is if if that thing is not in our right away, it should be their responsibility to take that out. You should have taken your tree out to begin with. The road is our responsibility. I've got that. And we've got a clear. Right. But I see your dead tree just on the other side, which is private property, and you don't want to maintain it until it falls into my road. See the problem here? I do, and I've encountered this problem in years past. Yeah. We had a tree fall across Old Elm Road uh, from private property onto the road. The county decided they were gonna go and clear it because this police had seen it. Yeah. Yep. I went up there and I saw it and I called Mark Krieger and right down the road from him. I said, the county's on its way. The, the sheriff called him. You get down here and you cut this thing. Clear the road. So Krieger came down and he chopped the road, the tree. But the part that was leaning from the landowner's property, mm -hmm. he wanted the wood. I said, well, it's your tree. Take it. But you're not taking the stuff that was hanging on my road. He cleared the road. He took the tree from the from the ditch back to his property. He cleaned that up. But we paid to have that road cleared. But you would have to do. That's what this statute is basically saying. Yes. The road right away. We are we liable. To, for we it. have to have it cleared. And that's what that is saying. The same thing. Yes. But then what we could do is look at something. You know, make an ordinance or whatever. You have X amount of time to clean that ditch line up because it's your tree that's their responsibility that's not a safety issue so much anymore it will become one 
correct, but that's my point. Not everybody is going to want to touch it, or it's fine. If we have to clean it, if it's not done within a certain amount of time, you should be billed for it. It's your tree. I can't cut it on private property. Oh, we, we didn't cut on private property. I understand that. But how many of these are we going to be dealing with as we roll through? How I'm assuming a lot. We've already cleaned up. <laughs> how many have we taken down? What did we do up there? Or, 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 yeah. um, so are you thinking that you need to put orders or something in? Or? I, I want to continue to look at it and find out what we can do legally. We, we took down how many trees on the entrance 25. Road? 25 trees went down. 25 or 30 trees? Yeah. On the entrance road? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because if they have no responsibility or skin in the game as it's sitting on the private side of the fence line that you can't touch, they could care less. And that's why we took down what we took down. Because it was going to call all fall into that road. And we'd be sending somebody down that road mm -hmm. every other week to clean yeah, it. Yeah, but that was in your right of way. Right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it was in the right of way. Yeah. Well, the right. trees were the trees were in the right of way, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Then we can take them. Right. That's not an issue, just like what he's saying. Those are in your right away. You have every legal right to take that down. That's correct. See, the county ended up doing that too a while back on, I think it was County H. Uh, trees were sort of overhang County H. So they contacted the landowner. The landowner was like, well, whatever, you know, because it's, like it's hanging over and it eventually be the end of taking the tree down. We took several you know, down on current. Or yeah, we did. Or Geiger, or yeah, we did that. But those being our our responsibility at that point but yeah. but this case the county actually stepped up and told the landowner to take it out and the landowner didn't want to so they waited until she went down and then the county came and took care of it and so it's like it's kind of like it's you can be proactive and predict when the trees coming down or and try and contact the landowner and say you might want to do something with this and then kind of leave it on them to decide if they want to or not some of them right you're not going to force them no but once it comes down and it's sitting there, yeah. then we they will say the same thing. We'll top it and get it off the road. Yeah. That is saying. Yeah. But now it's in it's in the ditch line and they've got to get it out of there. If not, we come. They're going to get built. Mm -hmm. For the part that's in, in the, the ditch, ditch line. Ditch line. Yes. It's yeah. in the right of way, yeah. but it's out of the safety hazard right. of the road. Right. But we do have then the right. If we cleared something like that, I would then say then we would build the land. Yeah, right. That would make sense. Right, but then we make the point is is you're going to have to probably have an ordinance or something right. in writing of this is how the procedure is going to follow. I wouldn't argue with that. No, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Right, I should have something at least. Right, I don't this, think we have anything this, on file right now. Do we? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so, so I'll look at it and I'll make sure and I'll and I'll you know we'll try to tweak some of this and come up with something. Somewhere along the line, because it's not going to get any better. True enough. No argument there. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. That's all I have on on roads. <laughs> I I did want to go through one thing real quick here because there really wasn't anywhere in here. Did you guys get a? This just came today from the Door County Land Use Services Department. Basically, the conditional use permit. For the replacement of the so it did go through okay and then at the very end here you know did it some, some, of our, some of our some of our conditions are on there yes i did not see part. that so this was this was basically some of our stuff oh now he's got two for, years to remove the manufacturing being yeah, replaced yeah. shall be removed from the property within two years of the date of this issuance of this. Manufacturer who be located closest to the road may not be converted to living quarters. Right. Right, because I think it wasn't. So that's going to remain? This is what the board must have decided. I thought you gave him a year mm -hmm. to remove it. Yeah. They gave him two years. Out of record. No, I did not. So unless he, he must have went and argued or whatever and on the board. But this is this is the end result that uh Tara had just sent over 
this morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you see this too? I didn't, but I heard about it because I talked to Roy and uh, he said there was a vote on it. He voted no and the rest, the other four or five voted okay. So he was not very happy about that. Well, they're not going to remove that that one that's closest to the road. That's in the worst shape. Uh, yeah. They're not removing that one? No. According, According to, to this. According to this, <laughs> the manufactured home located closest to the road may not be converted to living quarters. Yeah, so but but, but so don't just, they have to remove it? Yeah. No. There's nothing in there that says there's a new one. Hmm. That ain't right. The one that he's replacing has to be removed within two, two years. years. So he's just so he's just adding more in putting there. one trailer there and going to remove the other in two years. Right. Oh. You know, I can call Tara and I can ask the question, but no. once once the board yeah. has made the yeah. decision, yeah. that's pretty much the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I I know in conversation I had basically if there's a living, you can't you can't take a piece of buildable land. And put a trailer on it, like these. Mm -hmm. You can put a manufactured home on it, which usually is multiple units. Mm -hmm. If that's being occupied, and you need to replace it, that's what they're saying he can do. The one that's next to your on H here, that's not occupied. It's been vacant for more than a year. That cannot be replaced. Rosalie. Rosalie, yeah. So we, as part of the zoning, we didn't want to have a bunch of trailers in, in the town. And so that's what county zoning has dictated in these areas. However, if they're existing and they're being lived in, they're replacing them. The unfortunate thing here is that it's going to continue on down yeah. that same process. Got two years to remove it from the property. So, so well, the last one was supposed to have been removed back in 08. Yeah. But who, who follows through with that? No one. No one. Oh, yeah, zoning department. department. Zoning sure department sure. will. But he's already got three trailers on that property and two campers. When well, Sue's driving by your place to tell you you can't have that cow sign out there? She want to be stopping over there too. Cow signs high. That's a, just saying. Bill, God. Bills. Yeah. All right. Moving on to payment of bills. I gave Joe the check, but everybody. Yeah, you only did that one, huh? Yeah. Why not this one? Oh, hell. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's in the fridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, we bought it too. I thought we bought this. You did. The Van, v right. Van Vredes, but it's on their charge, charge card well, instead of the town. Correct. <laughs> okay. Well, so we maybe that was how we were able to get the builder's discount, is why that was. Oh, okay. That. Oh, okay. Well, these are broadbands, uh, you know. I thought we were getting a stainless for it. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said the other day. <laughs> we couldn't because the stove was white. <laughs> That's why we're supposed to replace the stove too. To which, which... Do you know how old that stove is? Yeah, it looks like legit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hard what to What was use. this one? From 1982. Removed really? from 1982. I looked at the blue egg on the stove. Yep. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you know, it probably really gets right. used. Or yeah. don't care where is it? And I have no idea where you can you know, turn the burner on. Oh, that's for the oven. It's and, worse. And I cleaned it. Yeah, it was. It was, it was, so, it was so, dirty. Dirty. so dirty. It took me two and a half hours to clean that thing. This is the scrubbed and. and oh, yeah, this is the scrub gun. This is the one that was sharing with the bug group. Create some oven cleaner and then I waited around and cleaned the top. I waited for my big check. Terrible. You know, for turning my 
They're looking the other way for all the spreading. The healthy ones said that I was supposed to get the big tails, you know, so I'm still eating my tails. They're bad. Oh, this was time. This was the. Uh, I never got those odd charges. I, you know, what charges? You, know, you, you said that there, there were those other charges that um, the Kalahari had put on. Oh. I don't have to check. I didn't realize. From the mini bar? I didn't see you have this in here. <laughs> also, yeah. it's also the mini bar. So I have it. I have it. I'm not putting in there. Oh, okay. For, for the sanitary. Oh, okay. For some reason, I, I did, did it this morning. The lion's day. Yeah. And I printed it out this afternoon. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. It's three o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So I transferred the money. So it was in there. Because I, yeah. I looked okay. for it. looked for it. I'm like, it was oh, really see it. Well. Okay. Good. So it should be fine. Yeah. All right. It should be enough money. That was interesting. God. Don't even talk to me about right that, Lord. No, no. I okay, have well, never spent yeah. no, so much time in line. I've hours of my life. I'm so not getting two or three sure. hours to get a room. Yeah, that was the most insane thing I've ever seen. And they didn't all have a. Salahari? You guys had to wait that long to get a room? You're kidding. I, oh, yeah. I don't know what yeah. the number was that you gave me. Was that not a confirmation number? Well, did you have trouble with your confirmation <laughs> number, Larry? <laughs> Oh, no, they found my confirmation number. There must have been somebody that wasn't used to working there or something. Are you kidding? They had 10 people working I there. Know, 300 but people in the went, line. Went. Don't talk to me. Kind of it was the it most was insane thing. The door all the way around like this and then... It was, it was going past Less. the revolving doors and the main gate. Last, you last time there. it was the same thing. So we have you think they would have learned, learned one care less of her. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should move it to a different yeah. facility. Yeah. Well, well that's the problem. Well, it's still a good cemetery. You got to get oh. it checked in. But that is like, like, you need this a cemetery. Well, yeah, okay, gotcha. What is the right. So I'm using the card, right? Mm -hmm. I make so a motion and we pay the bill. What is it? I'm like, I have a confirmation. I said, I don't really care. I said, I don't know what her zip code is. Because this, I said, I don't know. What they, she gave me the card. I, I don't know where the building goes. Is it? I said, there's like how many zip codes in our little area? Is it Horseville? Is it? It's Church 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 Church. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know any. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any of that. I don't really care. I said, what is the difference? <laughs> that was not a very good, well run uh, uh, reception there. At all. all right. Can I get a? Do I need a motion to pay the you bills? You got a motion. Yes. Motion was made and I second. All right. I have a motion to pay the bills and seconded. All in favor? All right. All opposed? Hearing none, it will carry. Announcements. Having done, we'll move on to item 16. All other matters uh, authorized by law. Lee Ruth? No. No. Hearing none, we'll move on to item number 17. Discussion and items intended for future meetings. And then just the normal things, the but good here. it good. is. It is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm just it's good. To it's it's tested every year. I think I no, it's actually several times a year. To be honest with you, very often. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, nothing uh -huh. extra. I don't think unless something I comes up, all. just right. yeah, and just let me know on the agenda and be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Item number 18, the next uh, town board meeting is Monday, December 18, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Okay. Is that the Christmas party? <laughs> yeah. Exchanging gifts? Yeah, it's our traditional Christmas party. BYOB? <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody sometimes brings treats. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Depends. All right, we can move on to adjournment. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All right, I have a meet, uh, motion to adjourn the meeting and a second. All in favor? All right. All opposed? Hearing none, it will carry.